welcome to Riding with the Space Cowboys here tonight, coming in from L.M. Base, Idaho, where a year ago an underground base was established here with Superman. Each one of them flies separately. Uh, we're going to take a look at a couple of them now, and then we're going to take a look at the, uh, uh, the red alert that went on here, and they were all flying. There's one now. He's got on a thought control helmet, a, uh, a gravity defined, defined cloak. He's got on there and stretches down over his legs and his feet and he takes off flying. And he also has a, uh, a backpack for his propulsion. There you can see it there. On this one, there's a three. There's a three different uh, supermen that were uh, photographed here on the base. Just to give you a little bit of an idea of uh, who these guys are, what they look like. And uh, they're a little different when they're, when they're flying. But uh, with, the, uh, with the cloak coming down over them for their complete coverage force field. But uh, we're going to take a look at uh, just a little bit of, uh, of the scenario here with the red alert and everybody taking off flying. Okay, it's going to be kind of quick. There's an alien flying saucer that comes in, and then everybody comes flying out of the ground. This is an underground base. Watch it here. This is uh, actual time. It was uh, photographed on the camera. So watch closely. There's a flying saucer blip through there, and there go to the Superman. That had to be a flying saucer from a different base because they definitely went on red alert. They're flying all over the place. Must have been about a hundred that took off flying there. I didn't know that the base was that big. The most that I've seen in the past were probably like 15 at a time. But this was, uh, this was, everybody was on alert. Now we're going to take a look at uh, one of them, how they fly. There he is. He come down right past the flying saucer there. Of a Superman. There's another shot of him in slow motion. You get a better shot of him coming down past that flying saucer. And he goes right into the ground. He goes down to about a foot long and disappears right in the ground. There he is in uh, frame by frame coming down so you get a good idea. Of what these guys look like, to, look like when they're when they're flying. This next shot is a good one. You can see his arms spread on the bottom there. His his, his uh, helmet sticking out, his feet sticking out the back end up top there. This is coming down toward the ground. They're shape shifters. They can, they can go to practically nothing when they uh, when they fly down toward the ground. Sometimes they. They completely disappear going to the ground other times. So they go directly in the ground at uh, full length. And these guys stand seven and a half feet tall. And they're flying at 300 miles an hour usually. Today with uh, with the red alert, they looked like they were doing closer to 500. The uh, trail on their cloaks was so long. The faster they go, the longer the, uh, the, longer the cloak looks going through the camera. Now we're going to take a look at a uh, take a look at another Superman's flying. This one here, he flies into the ground, full body, directly on the ground. There he goes. He just went, just hit the concrete right in front of the garage. There. Watch it again. This is regular time. This is how fast they fly. It was right on the ground. Now we're going to take a look at it at slow speed, and you can get a uh, a little better look at. Uh, and exactly what these guys are doing, how they're flying, and, and uh, like I said, there's an underground base here. They fly right in the ground, nonstop. <clears throat> it's an underground base. They don't use the basement door. Okay, now we're going to look at it frame by frame. And here it comes down. You can see the outline of See the backpack he's got on his butt, uh, his legs, uh, the cloak is extended over him. 
there he is. He's blowing up inside there. Uh, that uh, creates drag and slows him up for a century. Let's go at a certain speed. Here he comes down. This is authentic stuff. You see that just the way it happened on film. Boom, there he is. He hits. You can see his feet just sticking out the back end there a little bit. Great, right there at the uh, concrete. Here he comes. A couple more shots of him. Coming down again. This gives you a good idea of who these guys are that were flying during that red alert when there was like a hundred of them that come out of the ground. They all took off flying when that enemy saucer come flying through. Right there, bang, he hits the ground, he's gone. And that frame just left his feet hanging out there just a little bit. But uh, he, was, uh, he was going in there 300 miles an hour. And that was the saucer that was flying through. He just flipped across the screen. That was another saucer that was coming out of the ground. That was the alien saucer. And then all the Superman take off flying. Now this is a slow speed. So you get a better idea of, of the... Uh, you see at a regular speed, these guys are just blips across the screen. You have to slow it down to see what they even look like. And this is the three guys I showed you at first. The uh, three, three alien supermen who were caught on film in the driveway. That's uh, what they look like when they fly. The other one is just walking through the driveway. Now there's some slow, so there are some frame by frame pictures of uh, some of that action there that was going on. You can see exactly who these guys are. You see the two of them there together, the one is around the helmet one. And that frame is one here is going to go down and gonna bounce off the, it's going to bounce off the asphalt. Take off flying again. When it happens, it all happens fast. So there's one coming out of the ground. It's a, it's a flying saucer there on the ground. You see how they curve and they fly. These guys will do 180 degrees. If you go in one direction, stop in the blink of an eye and be going the other direction. That's the shot of the flying saucer that came through there. That's the enemy saucer. This is the one that the Superman sent up to come right out of the ground there. And it took off flying after the other flying saucer. And with that all hell broke loose and Superman went flying all over the place. So that's a pretty, pretty spectacular film footage there. For uh, everything that was, was going on at the... Uh, Nothing was going on there in the, in the, in the very beginning, and then all of a sudden that saucer come through and, and everything was flying. Now this is in uh, way slowed down motion here. It's as slow as I can make it. And, uh, you can see all the action. Those are all, those are all Superman. Flying out of the ground, going up in the air. Now that night there was 35 minutes of film footage, which I can't show you the whole thing, but there were, I counted, uh, uh, stop motion going through it, I counted 56 flying saucers. Some of them were probably the same shot of a uh, same flying saucer, but like I said, it was 56 photos of flying saucers flying through the property here. Which is enormous. Okay, I'll let you finish out the uh, the rest of the film here. I have other, other movies out there also. They're all on Alien Base Idaho. And just go over on YouTube, Alien Base Idaho, and, and there's many different movies there of mine. And, uh, and for now, this is uh, Space Cowboy out.